This is a how-to Thursday. Good morning. So I love the Thursdays because I get to show you something a little different, get you get to interact with the morning. And uh, today we got something special we got on the rear over there. I want to show you an important tip. When you're rolling up a sleeping bag, there is a certain technique. Hi, good morning. That I found that's helpful to pack it in tightly to the bag. Now, good morning. Now there are other ways uh, to roll a sleeping bag, especially depending if you have like the drawstrings, the little strings on the end and you just gotta tie it tight. But usually they come with a, a stuff sack. And if they come with a stuff sack, there is a certain technique that I've always used and I wanna show you today. Good morning. Hey, you're on YouTube. So let's get down to it. Good morning. Um, let's use one of these free trees as a resting place for our discovery today. Good morning, I love the bikes, you guys. I love to product review those bikes. Okay, so let's just set up here. We got the sleeping bag. We got the big sleeping bag with the stuff sack. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and unstuff it. Save that for later. Okay, we roll it out. Now notice how it's rolled out already. We could zip this up. I'm hoping that this visual shot here is okay. Maybe we should scoot back more. Okay, so first step, go ahead and lay down on it. Oh! Get that air out, you know, just a little initial, woo, we have a beautiful day. I just use my sleeping bag, kind of interact with it. You know, thanks, thanks sleeping bag for the warmth. Toss the bottom up. That easy. And another lay down, all right. Getting that air out, trying to keep it out as we pull. We do a halfway full, crease down the center, and another lay down. Trying to keep that air out every time. And then we do the roll. Now this roll is important. We want to keep this folded over. We're trying to roll. You can use a knee. Again, keeping that air out. This is intense. Let's just calm down a little bit. We're just rolling up a sleeping bag. Okay, roll that. Just like that. Now here, here, I'll put the stuff sack on. So let's see that. So with this, put that stuff sack back in there. And try to try to keep it in that rolled position. Sometimes it's a little hard and you could just start shoving it in and you could forget what you did, but it does go pretty nicely most of the time, depending on your stuff sack size. And then from there, some stuff sacks will allow you to kind of clamp the whole thing down and get it way small for your backpacking. So that's kind of that for, for now. I hope that was somewhat useful. Oh no. So that's gonna go. Big truck. Get back on the bike. Hi, right, good morning. So I think that's an important uh, skill. Now that may not be the best way. So if you have a better way, please share in the comments below. But. However you do pack your sleeping bag, it's important to unpack it when you're back at home, especially certain types, like the down or the duck down, basically the real feathers, or even the synthetic microfibers. You want those to spread out. That's gonna increase the, uh, what's it called, the luminosity. Good morning, hi. Uh, the, the heat capacity or whatever. So let it spread out in a big bag. Don't keep it all tied up when it's back home. Just for the trip. Anyways, that's the seg. Thanks for checking it out.